Ranking every organic block in Minecraft 1.20. We are back with another ranking video, this time on a snapshot for 1.20. So unfortunately that means no zoom. Anyways, y'all, we're talking about every single organic block in Minecraft. That means all of the plants and grasses, all of the dirt and mushrooms, all this miscellaneous crap right here, and last but not least, all of the coral. I'm going to be putting every single one of these blocks on a tier list, like the one behind me right here, where anything in S tier is amazing, A tier is pretty good, B tier is, eh, decent, C tier is rarely useful, and F tier, <laughs> you guys already know what F tier is. Is cringe. Like with all my other ranking videos, these are all just my opinions. If you disagree with me, feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And without further ado, let's get started with the very first block we're going to be ranking here, which is the oak leaves. Like I've talked about with a couple different really classic Minecraft blocks like, you know, cobblestone and oak wood. They're kind of overused, you know, they really give off the vibe of like 2012 Minecraft and uh, <laughs> that's not always what you want. So unfortunately, these guys are going to be staying out of S tier. They're going to be going right in A tier right there. The next two leaf types to be added into the game were, of course, the spruce and the birch leaves. And, you know, I got to say, I really like these guys. Whereas most of the leaf blocks just take on whatever color of the biome that they're in, like the oak and the jungle and the mangrove and all those other guys over there. These guys have a slightly different tinge to them, a slightly different hue, and I think that's really, really great. So these guys are both going to be going in S tier, believe it or not. I really like these guys. Next up are the jungle leaves, and well, these guys are pretty cool too. They're noticeably thicker than the oak leaves, which I think is pretty cool. They've got that funny little like light green patch on it. I don't know if that's a flower or like a berry or fruit or whatever, but they're pretty cool looking. S tier. Dark oak leaves, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing about these guys, I, I don't know if I'm like missing something here or if I'm just blind or whatever, but I cannot tell the difference between dark oak leaves and oak leaves. Like seriously, let's look at the two of them right here. Let me know down in the comments which one of these is the oak and which one of these is the dark oak because I literally cannot tell the difference between these two. But if oak leaves are going in A tier, then I guess dark oak leaves have to go in A tier as well. Acacia leaves are kind of the leaf block that I find myself using the least amount. Like, don't get me wrong, there's still a leaf block, which means they're already automatically pretty good. But out of all the different leaf blocks, I don't really find as much of a use for acacia leaves. I don't know, they're just not very interesting, I guess. I don't know. B tier. Moving on up our list here, we got the azalea and the flowering azalea. And you guys already know, I love azalea leaves. I'm pretty sure every builder loves azalea leaves. The color is amazing. The fact that it doesn't change colors in each biome is really amazing too. They're S tier, no questions asked. The flowering azalea leaves have all those cool properties. And don't get me wrong, the pink flower is really, really lovely for like cottage core builds and where you're trying to make something really lush and vibrant and colorful, but you don't always want want that, which is going to put them down to A tier. And while we're talking about the azalea leaves, we might as well talk about the moss block. No explanation needed. Instant S tier. Mangrove leaves are interesting. They're the newest leaf block, of course, added in 1.19. And I really like this cool vertical kind of stripey pattern we got on the leaves. Really great for willow trees or really any kind of tree that has like drooping leaves that don't really stick out as much as they like droop down, you know? I wish they were a more interesting color because we need more interestingly colored leaves, but they are going to go in A tier. The mangrove roots are pretty great because for the first time we have what's basically a brown leaf. So if you're trying to make, you know, like a dead tree or a tree in the winter, these guys are finally a solution to that. The texture isn't my favorite, but the fact that this opens up so many possibilities means I have to put it in A tier. The muddy mangrove roots, on the other hand, I mean, the, the fact that you can rotate them is cool, but I think they're significantly less versatile than the regular mangrove roots. I don't really find myself using these guys nearly as often, so they're going to be going in B tier. Back when the azaleas first dropped in 1.17, I thought these guys were amazing. They were, as the kids say, goaded with the sauce. <laughs> I'm sorry. But nowadays, I don't know, I'm kind of, my excitement has waned a little bit. Like, they're still really good for, like, interior decoration and making hedges and stuff. And this top texture is kind of neat to have in your arsenal, but, like, they're not really my favorite. Regular Azalea is going to be going in A tier, and the flowering Azalea... 
not really a fan of this thing, to be honest. So they're actually going to be going in C tier. These guys are, to be honest, rarely useful. Let's move on to our second and largest column, which is, of course, our dirt and our mushrooms category, and a couple little miscellaneous things up here. Starting with the row at the bottom here, we've got three different kinds of dirt. We've got dirt, coarse dirt, and rooted dirt. And of course, together, they make a little bit of a gradient, like a, you know, a light to dark kind of thing, like we got going on right here. Starting with the regular dirt, the tried and true Minecraft building block. It's what everybody uses to build their crappy dirt houses. And well, you really can't go wrong with dirt. Such a inoffensive, like neutral block. It's in basically everybody's build. You really can't go wrong with dirt. So it's going to be going in S tier as well as the coarse dirt. Coarse dirt in many ways is kind of just like better dirt. Like the texture is more interesting, doesn't get converted to grass. Ruta dirt on the other hand, I can't always say the same thing for. The light texture is really nice, but I feel like dirt and coarse dirt kind of already have that covered. So I'm going to be keeping it out of S tier. It's going to instead be going in A tier. Next up, we have four different kinds of grass. And these guys aren't really all grass, but like I'm putting them in in the grass category, they're close enough. Of course, we have grass, we've got puzzle, we've got mycelium, and we've got the path block. Starting off with the grass, I mean, <laughs> I'm ranking the grass block. Like, let's be real here. This is the face of Minecraft. This is the block that is literally all around me. There is no way that this block is not going straight into S tier. And while we're here, we might as well put the path block in as well. This one is actually really, really nice. It's got a little bit of like depth variety. It's got a little bit of like color variety variety because as you know the color changes ever so slightly depending on if you have blocks around it or not like we got this lighter color here and then if we fill in the grass this is now like noticeably darker especially if we take away those two like that is so much darker puzzle's got a cool little brown texture to it i think it's got some pretty good uses puzzle's going in a tier and to be honest i think i'm going to be adding the mycelium to c tier it's really cool it's got a unique color and i love mushroom biomes don't get me wrong i don't find myself building with it very often and i doubt you guys do either moving on to our nether blocks here we got the nyliums and we got the nether warp blocks of course, in the warped and the crimson variety. And these guys are really, really cool. I love the color. It looks really, really great. But you're not really going to be using this outside of nether themed builds. I do have to give a slight edge to the nether warp block here. This is really just a personal thing, but I find myself building a lot of like creepy stuff, you know, demonic or whatever. And uh, the red nether warp block finds itself being used pretty often, which I think is pretty cool because it definitely has that kind of vibe. Looks like flesh or something, you know, and that's kind of cool. So that one's actually going to be going in B tier for that alone, and the other three are unfortunately going to be going in C tier. Some of you guys might know that one of the most popular YouTube shorts in the history of my channel is talking about how good of a building block this mud block here is. So uh, if you want a better explanation, go ahead and watch that video. I'm going to go ahead and plug it right here. But yeah, this guy, I mean, I got no choice but to put him in S tier. Let's be real. And speaking of S tier, uh-huh. A little while ago, I talked about about 10 really underrated blocks in Minecraft, and well, two of them were the mushroom stem and the brown mushroom block. In particular, the brown mushroom block is really, really, really fantastic in my opinion. These guys are actually both going to be going into S tier as well. The red mushroom, on the other hand, I mean, it's kind of a shame because this block is definitely easily, like, the most easily farmable. The red and white texture, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love red and white, just you know, look at my Minecraft skin. I like red and white, but this texture in particular is just not that useful is going in C tier. Hay bales are actually really, really cool. I think that because Minecraft lends itself to typically be like a more medieval fantasy, like agricultural rustic kind of vibe, the hay bale fits in very well in a lot of places where you wouldn't really be using it otherwise. I would honestly put the hay bale in A tier, excuse me, A tier, and the dried kelp block is definitely a lot more niche. But speaking of that underrated building blocks video, kelp block was also on that list. I really like that straight stripe on the side, and that plus sign on the top is pretty dope as well, and the dark green background color just looks really, really cool. It's going in A tier as well. And last but not least in this column here, we got Dust Sponge. <laughs> yep, yeah, well, uh, it's a sponge. Not sure what else you want me to say here. Good at draining water, but that is, of course, building preparation and not building itself. Oh, hi, buddy. How you doing over there? You got a little wheat. Oh, my God. Is that your little snack? Oh, my God. You're so cute. <laughs> Sponges cringe. 
End of story. Moving on to the next category, we got all this miscellaneous crap right here. And I suppose we'll start with the bee ones right here, the bee nest, the honey block, and the honeycomb block. Bee nests are actually kinda interesting in a very weird and niche way. Let me show you something cool that you might not know about these guys. Bee nests actually serve as a really cool little blending block between the color of the jungle planks and the color of like a bright yellow block, like gold or yellow concrete or something like that. I think this is really, really neat. I didn't discover this, of course, but the unfortunate thing, though, is that, uh, how often are you using this gradient? Let's be honest here. Jungle wood to gold is, like, pretty niche. So this one is pretty rarely useful, and, well, it's going in the tier for that. Honey and honeycomb are also, uh not very useful. The honey blocks are slightly cool just because they have that little bit of transparency. You can make like a weird window or something. I think somebody on Hermitcraft did something like that. So they're gonna go in rarely useful, but uh, the honeycomb block... Can't say I like this guy too much. I'ma be real here. Cringe. Moving on here, we're gonna be talking about melons and pumpkins. I mean, first of all, who doesn't love melons? <laughs> These guys are such a classic Minecraft block, but if you've ever tried to build with them in not like a meme way, you'll probably know that they really just look like melons. That's not too useful. <laughs> C tier. Pumpkins are gonna be going in there as well. They don't really have too many uses. I know jack-o'-lanterns do have quite a bit of use as a light block in the early game, but like, we're not talking about jack-o'-lanterns. We're talking about pumpkins. They're not too useful if I'm gonna be completely honest here. Moving on here, we got slime blocks and uh, <sighs> yeah, I mean, they're slime blocks. They're great in redstone, but of course this video is not a redstone video. It's a building video and um, they are not very good for building, are they? Cringe. And now we've reached the section of the video where we are finally talking about the new blocks in the 1.20 snapshot. The block of bamboo, the block of strip bamboo, bamboo planks, and the bamboo mosaic. These guys look really, really cool. Keep in mind that this is just a snapshot that I'm recording this in, so nothing is permanent. If you're watching this video in the future, first of all, Thank you. I'm uh, glad the world hasn't blown up yet, but also, if the blocks look different, that's why. <laughs> because these guys are brand new, I really haven't had as much time to like play around with them and find building applications for them and stuff, so I'm gonna be going off of really just more like raw gut instinct, you know, primordial vibes like I like to call it. And first of all, these three right here, I see a very, very bright future for these three blocks. That color is fantastic, that texture is fantastic. I am so excited to see what people do with these. The regular bamboo block, on the other hand, is still pretty cool. The textures are once again fantastic, but the odd little green texture is going to be keeping it out of S tier for me. I'm going to be putting it in A tier. Moving on here, we got the three different kinds of frog light, and believe it or not, I'm not actually going to be putting these guys in the same tier. The pearlescent frog light, which is the one I'm standing on right now. I'm not sure why the pearlescent frog light makes me British, but oh well, I suppose. <laughs> I'm sorry to my British viewers. I know that was terrible. Yeah, these guys, they fit better in like the more organic earthy looking builds because they have that kind of color. The purple is really cool, but it's just slightly too weird, I guess. So I'm going to be putting these two kinds of frog lights in A tier, excuse me, A tier. And the purple one, the pearlescent one, is going to be going in B tier. Added in 1.19, these blocks are really, really cool in isolation. I really like how it's like a starry night sky, and the fact that it like gently pulses and blinks a little bit is really, really, really cool. Don't get me wrong. But but let's be honest here. How often do you guys build with Skulk decoratively? Like, not just adding in Skulk to like make it look like the deep dark. How often do you use Skulk for something that's not Skulk? For me, the answer is never. So unfortunately, these guys are not going very high on the tier list. They're gonna be going in C tier. Can't forget about these guys. These are definitely organic blocks, just like any other one in this tier list. And as you know, there are five different kinds. We got the tube coral, we got the brain coral, we got the bubble coral, we got the fire coral, and we got the horn coral. Even though these guys are all pretty much the same shade of gray, they are very different in their uses. In particular, I'm gonna single out the brain coral because 
because this actually is really, really useful in a lot of like stony block palettes. It looks like cobblestones and I think it's really cool. It's gonna be going in B tier and joining it is actually going to be the Fire Coral, believe it or not. I know that's a little bit of an odd pick, but something about this block just feels barely usable enough in a lot of like gray gradients and stuff. You could really use this block as an alternative and out of all the blocks in my hand, it definitely works the best in like a smooth texture gradient, you know? It's definitely the smoothest texture. So that one's going in B tier as well, but all the other ones, I mean, Horn Coral is like, kind of a good substitute for the uh, the fire coral if you really can't get your hands on that but uh it, it, it's okay like i'm barely keeping this one at a cringe tier i'm gonna be real here it's gonna go in the bottom of c tier but the other two the tube coral and the bubble coral cringe and cringe and last up we of course have the living coral which comes in five delicious flavors they're coral they're really bright and vibrant and exotic and that's really really cool but let's be real here these guys are are a massive pain to work with. The fact that you have to put them next to water or else they turn gray, the fact that they're only findable in one biome, the fact that you need Silk Touch to pick them up, I think. There's a lot working against these guys, even if they do look really nice and colorful. Gonna have to put Tube Coral in cringe tier as well as Brain is cringe, Bubble is cringe, and Horn is cringe. If you're wondering why I didn't put the Fire Coral block in cringe tier with the others, well, it's just because <laughs> it's red and I like the color red. If you don't like that explanation, well, <laughs> it's my video, so uh, too bad. And with that, we have my completed ranking video of every single organic block in Minecraft 1.20. If you want a view of the entire tier list, here you are. And of course, if you violently disagree with any of my opinions, feel free to let me know down in the comments. I had a great time recording this, and I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like on the video would be very much appreciated. Until next time, guys, this has been Leon, and I will see you all in the next Minecraft ranking tier list video. Take care, my friends.